Hey guys, so I'm excited to give you a demo of LaunchFast. So the way this works is when you make the purchase, you will get an invitation from GitHub into the private repo. And as soon as you accept that invitation, all you have to do is run npx launchfast and it will guide you through the process. So the first thing it will ask you is for a private access token. We need this because we need to um, copy create a copy of the LaunchFast template. So let's create a private access token, paste it there. Pretty easy to do, access granted. Now, if you have more than one package manager installed, you can choose which, whichever you want. I'm gonna use PNPM. Let's install on that folder. And now the script will set up things for you. It will install dependencies, it will uh, generate your Prisma client, it will apply migrations, it will seed your local database. And keep in mind, only your local database will be seeded, not your production or uh, staging databases. So usually you don't want whatever you have locally, you don't want that in your production. Production is gonna be like real data, right? So and a lot of the times you do need some, some data there for things to work, but um, I don't do that from the get-go because uh, we, I do see some fake users and an admin user, which you don't want in production. All right, so then the app is ready. You can, if you wanted, you could say, no, I don't want to deploy, I don't want to set up any infrastructure and you can just start developing locally and do that later. But I want to show you this process, so let's uh, get that done. So Fly requires a credit card to prevent abuse because they were having a lot of bots so now they do require a credit, a credit card, but they will still not charge you anything. If you if the only thing you have on Fly is a starter app, they will not charge you anything unless you go over $5 a month. This is undocumented. They don't have this in their docs. I checked, um, but they do forgive you if you, um, if you spend less than $5 a month, which essentially makes a starter app free, right? So... Yes, I've added a credit card. I already have an account there. And then it's kind of going to ask you to log in into the Fly CLI. We say yes. Yes, that's fine. And then it's going to ask you where in the world you want to deploy your app. So it detected that I'm closest to Madrid in Spain because I am in Lisbon, Portugal. But what matters here is that you deploy close to your users. So if your users are in the, are in the US, then that's where you should deploy. If they're, they are in, um, I don't know, China, then that's where you should deploy, so on and so forth. I'm okay deploying in Madrid for now because this is just for the demo. Then it's going to create the production and staging apps. So that's virtual machines and fly. It's gonna set some secrets, create some volumes. Volumes are essentially just a slice of the hard drive. And that's where your SQLite database lives. Because every time you restart your virtual machine, everything in it is gone, right? It, it um, destroys everything. So you do need volume. So essentially you, de you do need like a slice of the hard drive to um, have some persistent storage. And that's where your SQLite database lives. And console is just going to, um, essentially it's going to manage those virtual machines for you. All right, uh, would you like to deploy right now? Uh, this takes five minutes. I'm going to fast forward the video for you, but I'm going to deploy so that you see that it actually gets you, uh, gets your app in a production environment and in a staging environment. So let's get that done. And that's it. Now we have a production environment and a staging environment online that we can actually check out. So this is the production environment, fully functional app, and this is the staging environment, also fully functional. Now keep in mind that these do not have seeded databases. So if you want uh, permissions, you do, you do need to seed that. All right, what else we got? So would you like to give GitHub permission? Okay, so now we can give GitHub permission to deploy to Fly's infrastructure. So let's do that, it's real quick. Let's create a new repo. Let's call this my awesome app. 
let's set it to private, generate the repository and copy the URL, paste it here. Now we need to create an API token to give to a GitHub. So let's create that real quick. Let's give it some name. Let's say GitHub token, generate token, copy this. And then we need to open uh, our action secrets, paste that there. We'll, we're going to call it fly API token. That's the name of the token, add secret, boom. And now GitHub through that token can deploy to Fly's infrastructure. Um, yeah, let's open this in VS Code and we are done. Now we can run npm run dev. So let me show you how that works. You can actually do this. Uh, click, just click this button. I'm gonna run npm run dev. And we have our application here that we can start developing. So we can close out of all of that. This is our local development. And now all you have to do is edit your app, push to main. If, if you commit to main and then push, it will commit to production. If you commit to dev and then push, it will commit to staging. So if you're just doing some exploration, just commit immediately to main. But once you start having real users and you want to run some proper tests, then my suggestion is that you always commit to dev. And then if everything works, then you do some merges into main, meaning production. All right, this is it. Pretty straightforward. Hope you guys enjoy this. See you later.